There are 31 nights till Halloween, which means these are the 31 nights to watch horror films. This is 31 Nights of Halloween. I wasn't planning on putting any of the Saw films on this list as my recollection of the series was tainted by the last film I saw in the series, which was either Saw 4 or 5. I just remember thinking it was absolutely ridiculous that they kept making them, especially after they killed off Jigsaw. I understand why they continued making them. They are cheap and had huge returns at the box office. And as most of the writers and the producers in Hollywood are creatively bankrupt, it's only logical for them to go into the well and try to beat whatever they can out of a dead horse. I mean, as of this recording, Saw 10 was just released not too long ago. But today I was bored, so I decided to rewatch the first Saw film, and damn, it's a great movie. The original Saw film directed by James Wan and written by Lee Wen L, who also stars in it as Adam, is almost a perfect film. It keeps you engaged throughout its entire runtime, and although it says horror. It's not only a horror film. It's like it's like a horror movie slash mystery slash thriller slash crime drama. As we are trying to figure out how both Lee Wenell's character Adam and Carrie Ellis's character Dr. Lawrence Gordon ended up here in this room with a dead body, and they're both tied up with some sick freak serial killer telling him he wants to play a game. But why did he target them? I even forgot how many great actors are in this. Like Danny Glover, I totally forgot he was the detective in this. As well as Michael Emerson from Lost and Benito Martinez from The Shield. Oh, and um, the Ken Leung from Rush Hour and also Lost and Sopranos. So many people that you know and you see that are continue to work, are, are, they're great actors, they're good actors, they're really good, talented actors. That's what actually elevates this movie is that they casted great actors and great actors wanted to be in this because they could read that it was an interesting, compelling story. Oh my God, and how can I forget before Tobin Bell as the ominous voice on the recorder, the voice of Billy the Puppet, Jigsaw himself, Tobin Bell's in this and he's great. And But I will say one thing about him. He does not do much here. He does voiceover work. But in the subsequent movies, I think maybe two and three, he's he, no, two more, two. I think he performs better in two than he does here. But I mean, he wasn't really doing anything here. He's just doing voice work, so... So after watching this, I was like, wow, this is a really good movie and I have to put this on my list. And if I'm gonna have to rush over and edit a video right now just to put this on there and tell people you have to go see this, it's almost a perfect film. And as one well, of the reasons by that is there was one scene where I remember I watched it with my friend and I said, there has to be somebody else involved because how did that guy, Zepp, manage to take the doctor and, because he did it at the same time, how did he manage to, to apprehend or abduct the doctor and uh, Adam and then the sequel come out and I like the sequel too so you should definitely check out the sequel so check out Saw 1 and 2 check out whichever ones you want but I do like the first two movies and the third one I can't remember very much about it except for the fact that I really liked it so let me know in the comment section down below what did you think about the Saw series which one is your favorite and I'll talk to you guys next time peace <laughs>